The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below, I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has no, not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. It's so easy for our patience to be worn out by the journey, is it not? Various things that try our patience, especially in these days, things that wear us down, but they also remind us of our need to practice the virtue of perseverance. Perseverance in itself will not save us, but it keeps us faithful to the one who can. As Jesus refers once again in John's Gospel to his being lifted up, we think not only of his being lifted up on the cross, but also his being raised up from the dead and lifted up in the ascension. It is all one paschal mystery that God invites us to share in. But the resurrection and the ascension follow the crucifixion. The suffering that the people endured because they, not because their patience had worn out, but because they were not believing in God's plan for them. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food and water? The same God who set them free to bring them into the desert certainly can provide for their needs. Even in the midst of the plague of serpent bites, 
they needed to trust in the Lord. Moses, perhaps being ridiculed for creating a uh, a blazon image, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A um, an idol. Instead, Moses was not creating an idol. He was creating a symbol of suffering. A symbol of suffering. But communicating with that symbol God's call to believe. Believe that I want to save you. That I want to heal you. And as you look at this sign of suffering, know that I am stronger. Jesus himself, who chooses to come among us, God and man, powerful and yet weak and humble in his humanity, shows us that even God is willing to share in our human suffering. If we place our trust in him who came to dwell in us and with us, then we too can be raised up with him. As we look most often at the symbol of suffering that our sins brought upon the Lord and into our world, may we not focus only on the suffering, but on the hope that comes to those who believe that Jesus was sent by the Father, that he is the eternal God, who in lowering himself to share in our suffering, offers to raise us up to share in his glory, his triumph, his victory, if We believe in him who lies upon that suffering symbol.